And the research that I've been involved in is looking at groups that experience discrimination and unequal treatment in society. Groups like people from deprived backgrounds, women, ethnic and religious minorities, migrants, younger and older people are some examples of the groups we've been looking at. The reason that we're looking at those groups and how to address the inequalities that they experience is that inequalities in society affect everybody. It can lead to social tensions and it can lead to instability, less development and less productivity in, in societies so that people end up not fulfilling their potential but also whole societies end up not filling, fulfilling their potential and that's not sustainable. The way that we've looked at this is to try and look at public institutions like healthcare, education, social, um, social justice, criminal justice systems, uh, local and national governments, and what they can do at the policy and societal level to address these problems. At the same time, we need to look at institutions themselves and the inequalities that they're creating and maintaining, and then the impact of those things in communities and how communities can be supported to, to address the kind of challenges that they face.